the last time I made a video like this, I copped quite a bit of backlash for talking too much. So in this video, I'm going to try and keep the chatter to a minimum. Although it would be uh, quite irresponsible of me not to issue a disclaimer and a bit of a backstory. First, the disclaimer. Kids, or anybody, don't try this at home. If you're not interested in snakes, if you don't have a love for snakes and reptiles like I do, don't do this. I love snakes. I owned snakes for close to 20 years up until very recently. I've always been fascinated with snakes. Those of you that have watched my channel for a long, long time will know of my love of snakes. I often see them while I'm walking in the banks fishing. I say, g'day mate, I give them a wave, I take a photo and off I go. But the other day I was out walking with my wife Loretta and I stood on one, a red belly black snake, a very large red belly black snake, and it went Bruh! and I went Bruh! I got the fright of my life and so did the snake. But straight away everything settled down, I settled down, it settled down. And then I thought, I'm going to push this snake. I'm going to provoke it a little bit and see how it reacts. The reason why, because I see so many snakes when I'm fishing, I like to do this. I consider this research, seeing how they react and how they respond. In my recent monthly mashup video, it's the one with the Samba deer on the, uh, the thumbnail. If you saw it, you will have seen a brown snake. I was walking along a riverbank fishing for cod just before the end of the season and there was a, a, a late August brown snake out, a very early spring brown snake and it was in the grass. Now I only had about a metre and a half between the fence on that side of the private property and a steep riverbank and it was in the middle. Most people probably would have turned around but because I've done things like this in the past, I've stuck cameras in snakes faces and seen how they react, I knew exactly what I needed to do and I'd done it. I got my fishing rod, I tapped the snake's tail and I said off you go and I went straight under a tussock and I had to walk straight past that tussock and in the video you can actually see me walk past the tussock I look down, I know there's a brown snake only a metre from me but I'm not scared because I know that once that snake is away from me and hiding under undercover that it won't come back out and I have 100% faith that that is the truth and that it wouldn't come back out and it didn't. So because I love snakes, I appreciate snakes, and I've done some of these experiments with snakes, then I knew full well that I was perfectly fine to walk past that tussock, and I did. Well, that didn't scare me much. Check this out. It's August, and I'm walking along here, and here we have an eastern brown snake. Mate, I need you to get out of the way. Come on, off you go. Okay, that way, that's where I want to go. <laughs> it's gone in there. Well, hopefully it stays in there. I can hear it. I think. I think I'm going to be fine to just walk past. That was a bit, uh, a bit spooky. All right, mate. Leave me in peace. Yep, he's just hiding under there. I tapped its tail. It went under the tussock. I walked past. Had a bit of a look to see if I could see it, and then I kept going. A couple of years ago I filmed a snake video similar to what I'm about to show you with an eastern brown snake. The moment I touched it with the camera, it arced up and it came and it uh, attacked the camera. And I called it angry brown snake. And it was angry. But was it angry or was it defensive? It was defensive. It wasn't angry, it was relaxed. But I came along and I provoked it and I annoyed it and I made it angry. And I got the reaction that I was after, but as soon as I stood back, the snake went away. And that's the same as this black snake. The difference is with this black snake that I'm about to show you, it took a lot more provoking. I had to touch it with the camera several times to get it to turn around and arc up. And even when it did, it didn't strike the camera. It lunged past the camera, it lunged near the camera, it flattened its neck out. At one stage it looks like a king cobra in this video. That's actually quite cool to see, especially with the red flat belly. But at no point did it actually strike at the camera, it just lunged past it. In fact, the last one that you'll see, the last scene that you'll see, there's two snakes here, the last scene that you'll see of the first snake, that turns around and lunges at the camera, then you don't see it again. And that's because it went straight past my foot and took off behind me. Didn't bite me, didn't chase me, just got going. It just wanted to be left alone. And that's the moral of the story to this video. The snakes just want to leave us alone. Even when I provoked it, it still wanted to get away. And then as we were walking out, I actually found another snake and I'd done something similar and I got the same reaction. So folks, don't try this at home. 
but please learn from my video. Watch how the snakes react, watch how they respond. And the main takeaway from this video is watch how the snakes, all they want to do is get away from me. All they want is for me to leave them alone so that they can go on their merry way. Now, I will tell you that snakes don't hold grudges. Snakes don't have a lot of, uh, don't have a lot of uh, feelings and within a minute or two of me filming this this snake would have been fine and right now is probably curled up under a log somewhere because it's early spring is probably curled up with a lovely lady snake making baby snakes because that's what they do this time of year check out this video i hope you like it how long did i go for four minutes 38 that's all right when i got in trouble last time i think it was about seven minutes i blabbered on for there How good was that, eh? That snake's a happy snake now, but he wasn't at the time. Got him. A few flies around already. But anyway, unlike the snake, I just killed that fly. The snake isn't dead, it's alive and well. Unfortunately, there are people that will kill snakes, but there's a bit of a mentality here in Australia that the only good snake is a dead snake. And in fact, not far from where I filmed that clip, back in the winter months, there was a hay bale in a table drain on the side of the road. And I constantly saw, consistently saw black snakes in it. One day there, I saw a heap of black snakes and I pulled up on the side of the road, right next to quite a busy road, and I had a look and I counted seven black snakes on that hay bale and I thought, I'm going to come back here with my camera next week. I'm just going to stand behind the tree, wait for the sun to come out, and I'm going to get my telephoto lens and I'm going to film all seven of those snakes. I went back a week later and guess what? There was all these pieces of snakes because somebody had seen them and taken to them with a shovel. That's not me, I'm not that person. I provoked one to get a reaction, to do a bit of research and study what the snakes does, but I'll never ever kill snakes, especially not out in the wild where they belong. Folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.